Hello everyone, I'm Ritesh and you're watching Dancing with Data. Are you ready for the rich Tableau experience with table? So it includes conditional formatting, search, and within the cell as you can see. So was it there already in uh, Power BI? And the answer is yes, it's been there with Power BI since long. And uh, today you will be happy and sad at the same time. Be happy obviously because you have this new feature and sad because in some of the companies maybe you will still not be able to make use of it which company i'm talking about wait for that before we move forward to tableau remember that the power bi link will be there at the description if you want to explore that you can first of all remember that with extension you are getting this feature with this visualization with with extension and more importantly this is being developed by the tableau software company itself it's not any third party so remember that that means especially if you're making use of tableau cloud so why not to make use of uh, tableau table as well because anyhow your data is in the cloud that means you have faith with tableau cloud so why not this because this is also being created by tableau so that's what i was talking about companies with high sensitive data such as banks like jp morgan wells fargo so forth and so on these companies use on-premise database so basically they say no to tableau cloud so they may say no to Tableau with extensions as well. So keep that thing in your mind. However, there is no problem with Tableau with extension or Tableau cloud, but policies are quite strict when it comes to banking domain. This is going to work with 2024.2 and later. Link of the latest Tableau version is there at the description. So please download it and possibly you can do it along with me. So by the end of this video, you know how to make use of Tableau table. So we are going to make something like this, but let's do it from the scratch. So let me open another sheet first of all. So once you go to the marks card, just click on automatic. Because I've already added that with extension. So that's why you can see it already over there. But if you are doing it for the first time, you have to click on add extension. Filter this with built by Tableau plus Salesforce. So for now you have to and maybe I would recommend you to uh, make use of this one later. But let's now focus on Tableau table. So I click on this one. And here you go. This workbook contains the following network enabled extension, which is a web application. OK, we are good. We are safe. And after that, you are good to go. How do you get started? You can see there at the center. It's very simple. You have to just drag dimension and measures to detail. So let's see what we can do. Uh, I think I would like to have segment. I would like to have category as well, both category and subcategory. I would like to add some measures as well. So I think sales, I would love to have profit and I would love to have quantity as well. Right. You can always go double click and change or rename. Here you go. That looks good. So let's explore. One thing is that if I hit on a particular column, so I'm in a position to format that very particular column. I can just change the phone to something like Georgia. OK, we'll keep it like that for now. And uh, Now let's explore how can we format at column level. So if you have picked any of the column over there, now you can notice that these are being, these are enabled, right? If I just come out of this, then these are not enabled. That means these are specific to column. So if I just click on category, if I open formatting dialog over there, this is pretty much specific to this very particular column. It will take some time, but you can see, right? So if I do some formatting over there with respect to color scale that won't make sense so i will you know uh, retrack it or undo it right but it shows that uh, this is for that very particular column so i will just go back to default okay we are interested to explore at table level so i will go to table settings so once i go to the table setting now it will take some time it so now you have the option to show column filters so now you can see column filters are enabled uh, if you want to include null value, you can make use of this option. So show Excel download is also very important. And later on, we will explore this part as well. So this looks good. Now I can explore, right? For example, OK. Right. Also, I can filter. 
So if I write TECH, it gives me all the technology. And one thing that you will notice that the performance is quite good, right? If you do the same stuff with Tableau, then you remember that spinning wheel and all. So that's the good part, right? Okay, but you see one search table there as well. Now what it is, let me just close this for now. Now if I click on this one and if I say MAC, so I have machines, right? So this is being searched or, or highlighted. Maybe highlight is the uh, better word for now. So this is being done at the table level. That means if there is something like MAC here as well, so that will be highlighted as well. So that's not particular to any particular col column, right? So if you see, yeah, when I put M over there, all the <laughs> rows over there with at least one M are being highlighted. Okay, so let me just cancel this one and focus on the measures. So I can go to any of the measures over there. Okay, it'll take some time. Now, as you can see, formatting type for now is default, but we can change. Now, this is something that you have with Power BI. And if you want to show mark text, you can do that as well. And if you don't want to do that, if you want to declutter that, you can keep it like, it depends upon the scenario. Now the bar color, fill, uh, blue color, okay. Font also you can change. Now you can add some conditional formatting as well over there. So let's do that, set a condition. For example, if your profit is greater than some amount, say five, okay. For the sake of understanding, I'll just enable this one so that you understand it. So I say value is greater than 2000. Then we say that, okay, it's profitable. Let's make it green, right? Uh, and the font, I don't want to change that for now. And I want to add one more rule, maybe if profit is less than, so let us say is less than, and we give a value such as 500, right? If something is less than 500, then the shading should be a lot close to red. Now, if it is, yeah, so we, we do have, we have, we have minus profit as well over there, right? That way, okay, for now, we will add a couple of rules only, but now you can see, right? So let's do formatting for sales as well. So I'll go to sales, format, and in this case, maybe I'll, We'll have to wait for some time and uh, let's go with color scale and, and, and that's set because maybe there can be some interesting scenarios over there. For example, this is decent, right? The sales amount is decent, but at the same time, if you see it's a red, so we can go and analyze where you have dark blue and red at the same time that shows that sales is going good but at the same time profit is not up to the mark so you can do on the fly analysis just an example last but not the least very interesting option export to excel so let's try to export this to excel okay let's have this under download uh, folder and i say tableau table for now and i save it and have this at desktop done sheet 2 part is that the formatting is being preserved over there this is bold you have the conditional formatting in the two columns over there uh, but one strange thing is that this is this has not retained the data bar over there i'm not sure whether it is bug or what but still you can see that uh, it was able to preserve the formatting over there so that's it for today I hope this was an informative session for you. If yes, please hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section whatever topics that you want me to present. And do subscribe to my channel if you are coming here for the first time. This is Ritesh signing off from Dancing with Data. Because data is the data that you all know.